Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. In all kinds of things, sicknesses have claimed the lives of people, accidents, acts of terrorism, and so on and so forth. And so this, the complexity of death, is something that, in spite of the civilization of mankind and the many centuries of evolution, it's a question that has been at the heart of almost everyone. What is the guarantee that this may not be my last night? What is the guarantee that I can plan for 20 years and successfully execute it? This has led many people, for instance, into being irresponsible because they feel there is no point laboring, going to school, paying the price, getting a job, getting married, having kids, and then dying and leaving people, and so on and so forth. And others have um, come up with all kinds of formula. I can tell you, even for ministers of the gospel, it's been a difficult subject um, to teach congregations because as a minister of the gospel, you are exposed to all the sides of life. You have to attend funerals. You have to comfort families. At the same time, um, you will have to be there at baby, the birth of new ones, dedications, marriages, and all of that so on one side you have your members crying at the transition of one and then on one side they are celebrating the incoming of another on one side there is a divorce happening on another side people are celebrating the bliss of marriage so all of these these extremities make um the work of ministry particularly very difficult hallelujah and we must be able to draw strength from the truth of God's word. So tonight, as instructed by the Lord, I want to teach us certain things. I want us to discuss on the subject of longevity to give us hope, courage, and to build faith in us. Say amen. Before I start, like I said earlier on, let me express my heartfelt condolence to many of us who have at one point or the other experience the demise of a loved one i can tell you this that it is really really very painful there are people who have lost father others mothers others both parents others you know and if i'm to ask every one of us to come and hold the mic and say one or two things many of us may have tear dropping stories tragic memories of things that happened surrounded the death of our loved ones and so on and so forth and um the goal tonight is not to get us emotional. The goal tonight is not to um, create a lot of questions in our mind and create a platform for debate. The goal tonight is an attempt to look from the vista of the word of God and draw up keys to be able to guide us and to show us like a compass that there is a pathway to longevity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalm 91 verse 16. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. 
Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord I will trust in you I will trust in you so let the weak say I I am strong of deliverance whenever you are afraid you should trust in him that's what he expects you should trust in him and let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord hallelujah I want to share a few thoughts number one the first thing I want us to know about Let's start from Jeremiah 29. Let's start from there. Jeremiah 29. Let's be fast. There are lots of scriptures we're going to look at because I want to establish a few things. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Are we there? Okay. One to read everyone is projected. This is the part that I want us to focus on tonight. To give you a what? An expected end. A predictable end. Please listen to me. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. These thoughts that I think towards you, they are thoughts of good. The Bible says, finally, brethren, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are noble, if there be any good report, if there be any virtue and, and any praise, he said, think on these things. And so God is saying, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He said, they are thoughts of good and not of evil. This is God speaking. And those thoughts are particularly designed to give you an expected end a predictable end not an unexpected end not an unpredictable end this is the word of the lord hallelujah he says i know the thoughts that i think towards you the thoughts that i think towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end hallelujah Point number one. The first point I want us to get tonight is that God's desire and plan for us is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. God's desire and God's plan for us, according to scripture, is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Psalm 91 verse 16, please, very quickly. 
write down that point and then we'll look at a few scriptures god's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest psalm 91 verse 16 please everyone read one to read one more time this is the bible this is the truth of God's word. It says, for with long life, will I give him? Did he say, will I give him? That means there is a satisfaction that comes when a man enjoys longevity. Are you getting blessed? It says, for with long life, will I satisfy him? And in it, I will show him my salvation. Number two, Exodus chapter 23 verse 26. Please media, you'll be really fast. You'll help us. There are lots of scriptures to look at and all of them are important. We're establishing the first point tonight that it is God's desire and plan for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Exodus 23 verse 26. 23, 26. Hallelujah. Everyone read. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of thy days. There is an appointment with long life. There is an appointment from the throne. From eternity before you came. And it says the number of your days I will fulfill it. So that's the first point I want us to establish tonight. And listen people I want you to realize that. Um, I'm a human being. I understand that many of us are receiving this point with heavy hearts because you are comparing this truth of God's word versus the reality that for some of us have happened in recent times and for all of us as a house having to mourn the transition of our dear one. But the Bible says forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. A believer is not just one who has given his heart to the Lord. A believer is one who has submitted to the authority of God's word as the final say. Regardless of your experience, this is what makes you a believer. It's, you are not a believer just because you were born again. You are a believer because you have come to a point where you have chosen willfully to allow the word of God take precedence and become the final authority over your life say amen do you believe what i'm teaching you you must realize that you are not just a believer because you got born again and you are going to heaven you are a believer like a wife who submits to her husband even if she does not like the way he's behaving even if she does not understand her covenant of marriage her covenant of being with him will force her to submit Sometimes he may beat her. He may be a foolish man. But she has chosen as a submissive wife. That I will submit to his authority. And I will bear his son name. That's what it means to be a believer. To be a believer is not to love God when you can explain things. To be a believer is that in the midst of your joy. In the midst of your tears. In the midst of your clarity. In the midst of confusion regardless of what happens in your life the word of god stands irrefutable and unarguable in your life is god speaking to us are we growing as believers this is a very mature teaching tonight if you do not come to a point where you exalt the word of god above your life you will backslide and you will run away from God. That's why we have many atheists today. Many of them were church children. Many of them were folks in Baptist and Presbyterian churches. But their lives were surrounded by so much confusion. And because they think that God has to be boxed to the limitation of their finite minds. After a prolonged 
period of disappointment that disappointment builds a mentality and a stronghold that permits the operation of demon spirits and their conclusion is that God is a liar and their conclusion is that the Bible is not true their conclusion is something is wrong there is a deceit somewhere but the Bible says the Lord is gracious and compassionate He's slow to anger rich in love from everlasting to everlasting, he says, Thou art God. Hallelujah. It is God's desire for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Do you believe that? Point number two. Make sure you're writing. Point number two. The Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time. The Bible did not hide it from us. It didn't leave it as a secret. It's clearly stated in the Bible that it is possible that although this is the desire, it is absolutely possible, supported by scripture, that a man can die before his time. Open bracket and write this. Especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life open bracket and write this especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life this is a very hard teaching for many of us tonight but it will test your love for God the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time Ecclesiastes seven seventeen. quickly Ecclesiastes 7 17 and Psalm 55 verse 23 we'll look at those Ecclesiastes 7 17 the Bible also teaches us under this point that the life of a man can be added and can be subtracted not only can the life be cut short the Bible shows us that someone's life can be added to and someone's life can be subtracted 7 17 Ecclesiastes hallelujah okay let's just let's just turn while they're trying to help her okay hallelujah go ahead and read everyone one to read why should thou die before your time we're still going to revisit this verse it says be not over much wicked. Neither be thou foolish. Why should thou what? Die. It's a question. It's just the, the B part I want us to focus on. Why? It's a question. That means it is a possibility that although these are the provisions, the same way God designed for everyone to be prosperous, the Bible says that, um, how did he put it now? It says the proceed of the earth is for the profit in of all but there are people today who love God and they are still poor is that true there are people today who love God and cannot afford to feed their children but it does not stop the fact that God is a loving God and he has shown a formula for prosperity why should thou die before your time so the Bible shows us that it is a possibility that a man can die before his time. Psalm 55 verse 23. 55 verse 23. Are we there? Alright, go ahead and read everyone. Those outside, we apologize. Looks like they are not seeing the projection, but just follow us very carefully. One to read shall bring them down into the pit of destruction bloody and deceitful men shall not live out what half their days they will not even live up to half their days now forget that he's talking about wicked people i'm just showing you that there is a possibility that life can be added can be cut short can be multiplied can be divided can be subtracted this is the infallible word of god 
Hallelujah. So although God's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest, the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time. Point number three. This is a hard one now. Receive grace to receive it. Ready? The Bible re reveals that God is never behind us dying before our time. Write it down. The Bible reveals that God is never behind us dying before our time. Isaiah 65 verse 20. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the reason, Lord. You're seated in majesty. reveals painfully but truly that God is never behind us dying before our time 65 verse 20 of Isaiah go ahead and read one to read nor an old man that had not what go ahead and read This is the prophet speaking the mind of God to the people of God. He says, there shall be no more infant of days, nor an old man that had not filled his days, for a child shall die a hundred years old. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, but as many as believed him, he gave them power to become. As many as believed him, he gave them power to become. Hallelujah. One more scripture. Ezekiel 18 verse 32. Ezekiel Shibakata Baroto Suprati Go ahead and read. One to read. Stop. For what? One more time. One more time. This is God speaking. One more time. Read on. Do you believe this? Please, listen, 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 listen. I'm a human being. Are you getting me? I understand 
the reality i understand the pain i i understand the gravity are you getting me of of um you will only need to be a leader to understand what it means to manage tragic issues in families and this is consistent i have been to mortuaries i have prayed for people we have lost loved ones in far and near and all kinds of things have happened but I choose to be a believer. I choose to be a believer. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name it says for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth say it who say it prophet Ezekiel say it the Lord God wherefore as a result of the above turn yourselves next point this is a very serious one and i want us to pay attention to it ready satan comma the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals kills and destroys john 10 10 please satan the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals kills and destroys write this before we look at the scripture in continuation he has strategies through which he achieves this mission Satan the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills and destroys. He has strategies through which he achieves this mission. Continue writing. Topmost among the strategies are sicknesses, suicides, accidents. Write it down. Most among these strategies are sicknesses you can write afflictions too suicide accidents these are his most common strategy of attempting to cut short lives these are his most common strategies 95% 95% of the transitions and the demise of human beings from the earth is as a result of sicknesses and infirmities, suicides, accidents of all sorts, fire, all kinds of things, destruction. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, meaning you never see him in a place until there is need for this mission the thief cometh not meaning he has no business coming to a place except to do this to steal and to kill and to destroy but jesus the son of the living god said i am come that ye may have life and that they may have it more abundantly the thief satan there are many names that he's given in the Bible. He's given the serpent. He's given the dragon. He's given the thief. He's called the accuser of the brethren. He's called the adversary. He's called the destroyer. And Satan has a strategy. Please let me have your attention now. Satan has a strategy. There is a series 
by the grace of God on angels that we're going to be teaching subsequently and under that series of angels I'm going to be teaching us on the origin of angels and we are going to examine this man or this entity called Satan praise the Lord I want us to look very carefully in that series there are a few things about Satan we cannot discuss it today but just a teaser do you know now many of you are going to be surprised but do you know that of all wicked spirits Satan is not the most dangerous there are spirits today who are bound in everlasting chain they were deliberately not released because the Bible says if they are released even the elect will not stand the question is at what point were they bound and what did they do hallelujah when you begin to read don't turn there the book of Ezekiel 28 the Bible begins to speak of an ancient king we don't have all that time to talk about the formation and the structure of angels look up many of us think and many of us have been taught that angels were created angels no no the word angel comes from the Greek word angelio and it means a messenger let me tell you a few things look up please when Ezekiel the prophet was shown this guy called Lucifer the Bible begins to talk with him in a similitude of a mortal man that was a king over nations and over kingdoms is that true is, are, are you a believer you believe the Bible is that true is raises up a lamentation against a king that ruled over a place called Tyre and says thou which subdued nations talked about the making of Satan and then he said how that he ruled nations and territories inhabitants in the earth present at that time watch this let me just give you a quick analogy everyone look up this is an academic environment so let me attempt to communicate a few things I think it's important we get this look look at this imagine for instance that there was a student when our daddy prof was a student let's assume right that there was a notorious student at that point during the time of our daddy when he was in school are you getting that point and that notorious criminal had access to the senate please follow me a notorious criminal are you getting what i'm saying and because of that something happened at that time watch this that notorious criminal was banished as a student because of a rebellion that he wanted to have against the university and the vice chancellor are you getting me now because probably he was given the privilege of being an SUG president and so he had some level of dominance over the students are you following what I'm saying now on the strength of that he led a rebellion as at the time he did that daddy was a student are you getting what I'm saying now he is long graduated but that notorious Capone is still lingering around ABU are you getting what I'm saying now after so many decades a new set comes into that same ABU are you getting my point point? and then you hear that people there is one notorious criminal that has been here this guy has been here for a long time are you getting what I'm saying he's an illegal occupant he's not a student but he has refused to leave that territory watch out for him he has an advantage of experience because he has watched many sets of students u61 u62 u60 whatever till now you are you or something and they are giving you an advice that you are not the first occupant of abu are you hearing what i'm saying that abu that's why when you measure it you find out that you are young but they tell you abu is 50 years 
whereas you are just four years are, are you getting my analogy is it making sense to you when he was the student he was not the most notorious student he was just the one that led a rebellion and it became history there are other notorious students cultists that were driven away are you getting what i'm saying but it so happens that this very notorious student is determined to frustrate the council and the agenda of the university now watch this let me tell you something i don't know if this is the right platform to begin to teach us but we'll have that series by the grace of god did you know that angels were once mortal beings are you getting what i'm saying now there was a dispensation that they reigned upon the earth their dispensation ended and the ones who are with christ have been sent as messengers to help our dispensation just like imagine that jesus comes now i hope you know when jesus comes our dispensation is ended but the program of god still proceeds we do not yet know for sure what are the other agendas but we know the bible tells us there is a there is an age to come and there is a power that is left for that age to come and by reason of alignment we can taste of that power what age we do not know the word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations so I guarantee you, we will be the last of mankind as we know in this level of civilization. But not the last as far as creation, as far as, as advancement, as far as habitation and the humanoid species as we know. Who knows? Maybe in another dispensation we will be sent to other planets and galaxies according to the wisdom of God if allowed and we will be able to help the inhabitants to live out the purposes of God in that dispensation they will call us angels I will sing of the wonders of your word I will sing out for joy I will sing of the wonders of your word and I will forever sing your praise. Now watch this. When we get to heaven, there will not, the Bible does not record, the concept of marriage does not exist again in heaven. Is that true? So if in the earth, in my earth life, for instance, this was my wife, these were our children. When we get to heaven, we all become brothers and sisters. Are you getting what I'm saying? We all become brothers and sisters. I can appear in another dispensation to help the inhabitants. And they can look at me and say, wow, who is this strange being? But they do not know that there was a dispensation that you walk with human life. It is this aberration that was, that was cornered that brought what people call the mystery of reincarnation. This is what some of the fallen angels taught people and taught our forefathers and said forget the people you are seeing now they have been before listen the dispensation before our own there was a tremendous degree of power that was given to them there was nothing called invisible and visible that concept did not exist are you getting my point the dispensations before us you could access the heavens and access the earth now it so happened that our dispensation disobeyed right from the beginning so adam did not stay long for us to see the possibilities that were put in our dispensation we never had the opportunity to see what we could do for instance there was no dispensation that recorded reproduction they recorded rulership and they recorded who knows if Adam did not fall and Eve would have had the opportunity because he would still would have given birth. You understand? He would have given birth in his perfected state. We would have seen the son of Adam. A womb that has not been corrupted by the fallen nature. 
that's why in all of the dispensations it's only our dispensation that brought Jesus the son of the living God to come and die please let's continue that's for another time I'm just trying to show you that the one you call Satan Lucifer he was once a king in a dispensation the king of Tyre that ruled upon nations that's the reason why those spirits still walk upon kings today and try to make them build what used to be are you getting me now those spirits together with satan were the brains behind the building of the tower of babel they were attempting to bring back a dispensation to create a rebellion that once was. That was why Solomon in his wisdom said there is nothing on earth that is happening the first time. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Geography today, geography, they have found castles thousands of meters under the earth. They have found ancient castles. Did you know that there was a dispensation where, where we are standing now was water, not land? The same way that place, where is the Mount of Ararat? Where the the ark of Noah rested. Where is it in the earth today? We know Everest to be the highest. Where is Mount Ararat? Where are the golds? Where is the temple of Solomon that was built with pure gold? You mean everything disappeared that we cannot even find dust of gold? Let me tell you, most of them are still intact. They are buried in the sea because the judgment that led the word darkness covering the earth is the hebrew word tohu wa bohu is the word that connotes darkness and confusion right in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth that beginning we do not know but then we know that something happened and then the earth was dark and void formless it was the judgment are you getting me the water had to be judged and then it also had to cool the earth that was why there was a division two-thirds of the earth is covered with water and when you read revelations when one of the trumpets is blown one of the things that will be happened will happen to the earth is that there will be certain kinds of plagues and judgments i'm saying all of this to let you know that satan has a history the strength of satan is not his might because he's not the strongest of spirits the strength of satan is an advantage of a spiritual strategy backed up by an ancient wisdom of deceit are we blessed very quickly keys to long life the first thing I want you to know about the keys to long life is you do not choose one and leave the rest. They all complement themselves. You don't choose one key and then allow the rest to go. No. There are keys. There are keys. Number one, the first key to long life that the Bible reveals is speaking choosing releasing words of life psalm 34 verse 12 to 14 and then we'll look at proverbs 18 verse 21 psalms 34 12 to 14 and then proverbs 18 verse 1 the first key to long life is to speak it the first key to long life is to choose it the first key to long life is to release it hallelujah ready look up let's read psalm 34 verse 12 one to read what man is he that desireth what life and loveth what 
many days that he may see good read on keep what there is a relationship stop between your tongue its communication and your life the bible says who is it that desire long life it says keep your tongue from evil and your lips from what speaking guile 14 depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it the emphasis is 12 and 13 who is he koinonia that desires long life i don't die yo. the bible says who is he that desires long life don't just laugh about what i'm saying because whether you think you are joking or not the bible says and let it not be said before an angel i made a mistake who is he that wants to activate longevity it says keep the please go to verse 13 13 13 it says keep thy tongue from what and your lips keep your tongue i know many of you have said kai people are begged they're exaggerating why do you want to speak please be real you be real in the earth way you will die like a chicken your reality must be the word it says i am the way i am reality i am absolute reality hallelujah proverbs 18 21 shipakato brando can we read proverbs 18 verse 21 one to read what will they eat the fruit of what no, 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 no. It's in your Bible. It says, they that love it shall do what? Death and life. This is Solomon, a man who received wisdom from God. He's teaching us from the abundance of the mysteries that he was granted access to. And he said, in my exploration of spiritual mysteries, I found something. Death and life are left in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? The Bible says, I set before you this day blessing and cursing. Is that true? Death and life. Here's my suggestion. I can't force you, but this is my suggestion. Choose life that you may live not wish it choose life koinonia choose life that you may live are you still a believer choose life that you may live choose life i set before you blessing and cursing i set before you death and life but this is my advice for you choose life I speak life Oh my brother I speak life Head and not the tail You will prevail I speak life Everybody say after me, I choose life. Outside, can you shout it? I choose life. Those standing at the back, the back there, can you say, I choose life? Don't let the devil tell you, I hope you know what you're saying. Say it. I choose life. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Conquer fear. I choose life. When you speak, you release it. This is a voice activated planet nothing happens until sound is released i choose life send it to the atmosphere i choose life send it ahead of your tomorrow i choose life the will of man cannot be compromised hallelujah listen 
Jesus said, Behold, I, Jesus, the King of Kings, the creator of the ends of the earth, I stand at the door of your heart and I keep knocking. I cannot enter until your will permits me. As mighty as Jesus is, he respects the will of man. How much more Satan? Jesus, the son of the living God, the resurrected Christ, the eternal one, stands at the door of a man's heart and keeps knocking for 60 years. If that man refuses, he goes to hell. But he was knocking. So what do you think makes you think that Satan just steps into your heart? It's called deception. This is the foundation of witchcraft. It paints a picture that is not real. It makes you to buy into it and you authorize him to wreak havoc in your life. Say it again, I choose life. Say it again, I choose life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Key number two. Can you pray in tongues for one minute? And say, Lord, let this revelation just sink into me. If the devil brings the memories of your past loved ones, tell him, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I know they are in heaven. But right now I'm making my choice and my decision. Don't let the devil just bring any memory to put guilt and say, did they speak like that? Say, Satan, you are a liar. The Lord rebuke you. I choose life. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? write very quickly everybody key number two to longevity the fear of the lord the fear of the lord biblical key number two to longevity under the word fear write reverence reverence the fear open bracket reverence of the lord proverbs chapter 10 verse 27 Proverbs 10 27. Proverbs 10 27. Everyone read. One to read. The fear of the Lord. Yirat Adonai. Reverence for God. Respect for Him. Honor for Him. And his ways and what he represents prolongs days. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The Bible says the fear of the Lord. There are two indexes given in the Bible to measure the fear of the Lord in a man's life. Number one, obedience to his commands. And number two, service in the house of God. Obedience and service are two keys that demonstrate whether or not you fear the Lord obedience obedience oh I love him I obey him Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 to 11 I just want to praise you I lift my hands to say I love you you are everything to me and I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name on high. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. Verse 11 For by me days shall be what? And the years of thy life shall be increased. And 
And so the Lord spoke to Isaiah. He said, go and tell Hezekiah. You will not recover from that sickness. You will die. And Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. And said, oh Lord, remember. How I have walked diligently before you. And the Lord sent Isaiah again. He said, uh -uh, uh -uh. I remember my faithfulness. And he went back and said, the Lord said, I have added... For by me, Joshua Selman's days shall be multiplied and the years of his life shall be increased. Obedience and service. When we talk to people about obeying the principles of God, many people think that I can live my life the way I want longevity brothers and sisters hear me don't let westernization deceive you longevity is tied to your fear of the Lord. service there are so many people seated here inside and outside you're not serving in any unit you're not contributing in any way to the advancement of the kingdom i shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Amen. That's a scripture there. You will live to declare. You will live to promote. You will live to frontier his kingdom. Let me tell you this. My passion under the apostolic ministry is not just to produce miracles in people's lives is to create a sense my passion is to institutionalize God consciousness in people to make it an institution that everything in your life brothers and sisters is secondary to the pursuit of his agenda I don't care whether you have discovered your assignment or not I can tell you an assignment start serving diligently in the house of God don't you let people fool you to think those who serve in the house of God are just weak people who are desperate for husband. Say, Kai, you serve. Eh? The way you are behaving, don't let anyone cheat you. There are people who live their lives as though you control your life by yourself. Hallelujah. When five minutes without your breath, you are gone. It doesn't matter what your agenda is, it's over. The greatest part of a man's life is that part that is invested in serving God. That's how you cheat death. That's how you cheat the grave. That's how you cheat death. You don't cheat death by being afraid of it. You cheat death by serving God. Victorious in life and victorious in death. Paul says, for, for me to live is Christ. And if I die, it is still gain. There is no loss. Hallelujah. As you're sitting here, the Lord is speaking to you. You are living your life as young as you are. You think you are too busy. There are many of you outside. As you are looking at my face, the Lord Jesus is speaking to you tonight. I'm saying you are the one I'm sending this man of God to talk to. When will you begin to serve God with the active years of your life? Say, I'm not a man of God. I'm a pilot. So what? my life be offered oh God on the altar of sacrifice that I will serve you I told God this is all I do with my life I don't have plan B when I wake up in the morning your kingdom come oh God that's all I do are you getting blessed service is one of your greatest respect that you can do for God I'll serve I'll serve I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best with all my life. I'll do my best for you. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you. Sing it one more time from your heart. I'll serve. I'll serve. 
I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord. It's only a fool that will live his life hustling. I must make it. As though you hold the breath of your nostrils in your hands. You go to churches and see how many people warm the bench every week and there is no sense of conviction in them to serve God. There's no service for the kingdom. It's not part of their lives. They come and they warm the bench and smile around and you tell them, are you serving? Any believer that is not serving in a church, not serving in a group, your seed is not going for the advancement of the kingdom. You don't deserve to live. He says, I shall not die, but live. But live. There is a way a man's life can frontier the kingdom. God will kill a nation to preserve that man. I travel all the time. Don't you think I don't know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we are on our way again to be there all the time. I've seen all varieties of accidents. I've seen all kinds of things. I've seen all kinds of seeming threatening situations. We have met armed robbers. We were going to, um, when we were going to Ogbomosho, our flight was cancelled. We had to charter a car to take us by road. We left about 4.30 in the morning. Just coming out of Abuja, Abaji, going towards, just entering the route to go towards Kogi. And we saw somebody reversing. They were armed robbers. Brothers and sisters, this gentleman speaking to you, I'm not a fool. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm educated. But I want to tell you something. The fear of the Lord can prolong the days of him that you spend your life serving God. During the days of our fathers, the popular song is, Lord, here am I. Send me. Right now, we are saying, Lord, here am I. Give me. I have come. I finally arrived to collect. See, let me tell you, don't just laugh. If you keep that mentality and it becomes the circumference of your Christian experience, you will be unfruitful. In the kingdom. I want to stand before my maker. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. I can only imagine what it would be like. Ah, what's the song? You know the song I'm trying to sing, right? Surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine that on that day when I stand before him, when we are finally done and we have conquered the earth, depopulated the kingdom of hell and turned the hearts of many to righteousness, that through faith after we have subdued kingdoms and wrought righteousness we will stand upon the mountain and salute creation and say Lord I am ready and you appear before him to be absent in the body the apostle says is to be present with the Lord and he looks at you and says well done you tried and they take on that crown and you see all the Matthias saying we watched you all the while while you were in that crusade we watched you while you refused to give up as you were casting out those devils the family in heaven was watching for some of us while you were roaming around gossiping and all that was your passion was oh god husband time is going god said we, we were watching you too i am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the lord I am so glad you came. We were in your life a few weeks ago. And when we went there, the organizer of the, the campus could say, when he met me, I saw the way he was saluting me. And I said, I was wondering, what was this for? 
and he called me and he said sir about three years or thereabout when you came into this campus i was just a fresh student when i came in and when you preached i got born again i got filled with the holy spirit and today i'm still standing and doing many things every time people call and say koinonia messages are changing people i say lord thank you i have no business being known they don't need to know me that i may decrease that my face cannot heal anybody my picture cannot bless anybody there is one mightier than i he's the one i live and i spend my entire life serving please i speak to you as a servant of god tonight think about your life think seriously about your life and the way you are ignoring the things of god as though there is something better i'm not saying be a pastor be an addict enough when was the last time your money entered the advancement of the gospel how many souls can stand before god and say it was your giving that brought the men of god to this place how many of you can say it was your prayer you were interceding for every man of god not snoring around and complaining how many of you have sacrificed your night time for the sake of the kingdom how many of you have sacrificed your food for the kingdom the fear of the lord Let me tell you vanity upon vanity all is vanity i have stood before kings i have stood before millionaires i know what honor sounds i wouldn't trade you for silver or gold impossible i wouldn't trade you for riches untold you are you are my There is nothing in this life that will attract me enough to stop what I'm doing. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The psalmist said, better is one day. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'm so desperate to serve you. Although I'm a king, I choose to be an usher, a sanctuary keeper, than a celebrity somewhere. These were men who understood God. They understood the ways. There are some of you here, you think you are too big to join the protocol. You are too big to do this. You see all the people sacrificing and you think they are fools. Unfortunately, most preachers have preached service, not as a proof of love for God, but as a way to get things from God. It is true that if they obey and serve him, there are benefits. But brothers and sisters, hear me. Beyond getting things, it is a proof of love. So if your work is to bring this water, you bring it with all sense of honor. Not just like you are worshipping a man. Oh, it's a privilege to serve in the house of God. It's a privilege. If you are to clean the chairs, you are cleaning the chairs and say, Lord, it's a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. You can do without me. You have chosen to do with me. You are supposed to bake the cake. You are seated and you know you have grace. You say no i need to join the welfare department i must spend my life I, I need to contribute you are excellent in graphic oh the media needs me service 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 whether you are in zaria or not find a church find a group find a fellowship find a, a congregation of believers many of us are looking for geo and mama that's the only condition you have given God to serve him. Lord, I will serve you if I will be the mama of the ministry. I will serve you if you give me the name of my parish. The name of your parish is nothing. Let it be your passion. Hallelujah. Are we getting blessed? I'm preaching from the depth and the core of my spirit. Because I don't want you to waste your time. Please get back into the mystery of kingdom service. Get back. You spend your time serving a guy because you love him you go to his house you wash his clothes you cook you iron and he says is it not too much you say this is the least i can do for you is it to express my love i'm 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 not embarrassed call me a fool it's true eh? if loving you is a crime let me be a criminal look at what you are saying look at what you are saying shame on any believer who is saying that i'm telling you i say it again shame on any believer 
that because of mundane things you can so serve a man and your passion cannot go for God. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Proverbs chapter 3 My son Forget not my law But let thy heart keep My commandments Verse 2 For length of days Obedience Length of days And long life Together with peace Shall they add to thee Commandments he that loveth me is he that keeps my commands. John 14, 21. He that keepeth my commands is he that loveth me. And I will love him and my father will love him and we will come and manifest ourselves to him. The commands of God. His commandments are not burdensome, brothers and sisters. Let's hurry up. Key number three to long life. Engaging the mystery of the blood. Key number three. Let's hurry up. Engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding. Engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding. There are three ways. That the mystery of the blood was used in scripture to bring preservation and deliverance. Number one. In the book of Exodus chapter 12. It was used to anoint the doorposts and the lintels. So that the angel of death would not come and destroy the people. Hallelujah. Number two. Jesus revealed it to us in the communion. The communion. In the New Testament, he began to teach us the mystery of the communion. And then number three, the mystery of what the Bible calls blood sprinkling. That the priest would take a portion and a sample of the blood and sprinkle upon the people and it will mark them. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 24 to 30 we may not have time to read all but let's see how far we can go help us media first corinthians 11 verse 24 to 30 paul is teaching the church in corinth the mystery of the blood with respect to communion and when he had given thanks he break it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me next verse he says after the same manner he took the cup here and there 25 26 for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye show the lord's death till he comes 27 wherefore whosoever now listen shall eat this bread and drink this cup unworthily open your eyes i want to show you a mystery unworthily he says this sacrament there are two sacraments that Jesus left to the church. One is the sacrament of the communion. The second is the sacrament of baptism. Water baptism. Two of them are still valid. They are important today. He says, Whosoever shall take up the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of what? The body and the blood of the Lord. Here comes the mystery. 28. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily does what? He can eat and drink unto damnation because he did not discern that the body and bread of Jesus Christ relieves life. And because he's, he's eating it unworthily, he will get the opposite of it. Next verse 30. Read please. One, two, read. Stop. For what cause? For the cause of partaking in the communion without discernment. For this cause, how many people? How many? How many people do you know have died today that they told you it was a communion that killed them? Have you ever had any death? And they told you that, ah, this death, it was communion that killed the man. Have, is it in your Bible? 
for this cause did he say few many many are weak for this cause the cause of not discerning the lord's body the cause of not respecting it for this cause of not giving it the honor it says many are weak you believe the bible right many are what sick and many sleep wow for this cause trivializing the body of christ not discerning the power it can release not discerning that this represents the body of jesus beaten battered by whose stripes we are healed it says for this cause that means when you take it with understanding and you take it worthily for that cause you will be strong you will be healthy and you will live you will be strong you will be healthy and you will live exodus chapter 12 from verse 7 to 8 the mystery of the blood and then 12 to 13 we are not going there we don't have the time we have to move on to other things i'm just giving you references exodus chapter 12 7 to 8 and then 12 to 13 and also verse 23 these are all scriptures that show how the blood upon the lintel and the doorpost when the angel of death the bible calls it the destroyer that when the destroyer comes and he sees that blood upon your lintel it will leave and trouble you not hallelujah praise the lord key number four honor to parents key number four let's be fast please honor to parents open bracket both physical and spiritual ephesians chapter 6 from verse 2 to 3 honor to parents both physical and spiritual are mystery keys to long life one to read is projected one to read honor thy father and thy mother which is the first commandment with a promise verse 3 was the blessing that it may be well with thee and that thou mayest live long where it told you you will live long and it told you the location where you will live long for honoring parents how many of us have dishonored our parents yes they are foolish yes they've acted stupidly yes they may have behaved in a way but do you honor them some of us beat up our parents some of us beat up daddy and mommy we think i'm a big boy i'm a big girl i'm now married i have children i'm driving a jeep let no level of madness ever get into you that you will insult your father curse your father or your mother let me show you this proverbs 20 20 a grave consequence follow those who can curse and dishonor their fathers read it please one to read his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness whosoever can dare to curse the father and the mother that brought him to the earth now get this i'm not saying that they lead you to partition so as for as long as what they are doing is not leading you to death and leading you outside of salvation no matter what it is look at me david twice had the opportunity to kill saul is that true are you bible students david had the opportunity to kill saul he caught his robe and went away with it he said i will not be the one to kill god's anointed how many times have people run their mouths talking about men of god you sit down where you are and you are just lambasting men of god just talking and smiling the bible says honor your father and your mother whether spiritual or physical he said they that rule well among you deserve double honor honor them that rule well when they have proven a life of integrity not human worship not fear but a sense of honor and respect i honor my parents in life and in death hallelujah 
some of you have elderly people come around you can see an elderly person standing in a meeting in your house and you just cross your leg and you are just balancing and smiling and say you came late please i don't want anything to inconvenience me you are there shaking your weapon up and down instead of you to stand up and say mama please you can sit down and she say no 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 my daughter insist insist say mama sit down it's not about being a virtuous woman it's about life and death life and death it's in your bible i'm not the one saying it it's in your bible say i choose to honor my father and my mother how many of you pray for your men of god how many of you pray for ministers you stand there criticizing and shouting when you hear that a minister has a scandal instead of you to get to the place of prayer you stand there saying i always knew i always suspected the way i've been looking at that man you see that continue the bible says he that cursed his father and his mother his lamb his life will be taken away to obscure darkness how many have died as a result of this honor when a father fights his son he loses his honor when a son fights his father spiritual or physical he loses his life that's why many people sadly to say many people who just break out foolishly because they want to start their churches or ministries break out and jeopardize the life of the Jew thinking God called them notice very few of them ever last because he that dishonored his father his lamb will be taken are we learning number what now number five walking in wisdom the fifth key to long life walking in wisdom Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 to 3 verse 13 to 16 those outside if you are still with us say amen God bless you alright Proverbs 3 verse 13 to 16 walking in wisdom walking in wisdom foolishness can take a man's life foolishness can cut short a man's life walking in wisdom hallelujah the bible says happy is the man that what finds wisdom that means you have to look for it and the man that get it understanding 14 for the merchandise of it are better than silver and the gain thereof than fine gold 15 she is more precious than rubies and all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared with her 16 length of days are in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor if you embrace wisdom it will also open you up to long life look at me how many people do you know who cannot drive hello they cannot drive and then they go and carry a truck and kick it because they are trying to impress their colleagues are you seeing how foolishness costs the life of people and then they go to the road they have given the spirit of death unrestrained access how many people drive their cars foil is leaking down are you getting what i'm saying foil is leaking and they don't care there are people who who transfer is a gallon that is in their car or their bus they connect it directly to the carburetor and from the bus, from the foil is feeding the vehicle and they are there running they are smiling how many people you look at the tire of the car and you are already seeing the metal the tire is so it is the, the man is driving and holding the steering this way for the car to be straight that's the degree to which the car is disaligned and yet he plans to travel to lagos the bible says wisdom is profitable to direct are we blessed A man takes beer, alcohol, and tells you, can I give you a ride? You say, really? You get into the car. Wisdom. You have trusted your life to a foolish man. Are we getting blessed, please? How many things do people do? Go to many homes now and see the risky connections that they do in their homes. Directly under your bed is one wire that has been there two years naked wire how many people dry their clothes on naked wires 
or at least part of it is beginning to cut life wire they dry their clothes and smile they have been doing it i i know how to do it no 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 i'm showing you how people partner with the spirit of death to cut short their lives you plug iron and you just reduce it and then you are watching film and you are enraptured in the movie there are many of us the way you own your car there is something only you know how to touch you touch the wires and then something down you just touch it and it sparks cast, cast, and then the thing starts you've been doing it for many years preserved by mercy you think you are wise god is speaking to you tonight how many people drive cars with the exhaust on the ground sparking you will see it sparking and there is foil directly under yet we went to school is god teaching us wisdom there are people where you keep the room where people sleep is also where you keep foil you buy one jerry can of foil and keep it closed there are babies there there are all kinds of things people are inhaling it there are others you never eat well i'm showing you how people partner with satan to destroy their lives you never eat well there's no difference from the day god you were in poverty and now that god is even helping you there is no difference look at mechanics look at what they eat same thing one lady comes with 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 a lele or something and serves them that's what they eat every day every night they take tea in the night see that kind of unhealthy that's why the life expectancy level of africa is about is it 30 or 40 scientifically proven we're, we're not talking of demons here we're just talking of carelessness say carelessness yes yes people do all kinds of things risky things and we think there is no problem to it very risky things it's only god that can tell the kind of risks people take every day every day there's food on fire you made yam the water is boiling you want to use your hand to carry it out can't you look for spoon if the spoon is missing can't you be patient why must you cut you you came complete why must you go back with one hand yes you will make heaven but is that a rich life is that a rich life why will you cut short your life because of carelessness it's god speaking to us number six the sixth key to longevity is to take authority over the spirit of death infirmity and destruction we're getting deeper now we're getting to the area where we're going to pray luke 10 verse 19 manda pronda siketele death is a spirit brothers and sisters i've taught you this behold see don't be ignorant i give you power to tread upon serpents upon scorpions and over how many how many all the powers of the enemy it says and nothing shall by any means harm you i have given you if you take advantage of it and you use it appropriately he said with wise counsel make war with wise counsel make war i have given it to you death is a spirit infirmity is a spirit destruction is a spirit the spirit does not just work by default when the spirit of death is in an environment what happens is it waits and finds people that partner with its activity this is the standard operation there are a few exemptions however but the standard way the spirit of death the spirit of death is like a lion waiting for a prey are you getting what i'm saying now Let's take 10 minutes and discuss something that will be very serious under this topic. 
a subtopic under point six the reality of witchcraft deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12 may i remind you ladies and gentlemen if you are yet to believe that witchcraft is real are you hearing what i'm saying if anyone has deceived you into the illusion that you are living in a world where there is no witchcraft i just gave you a teaser with wicked spirits please listen to what i'm saying because it's very important the reality of witchcraft deuteronomy 18 from verse 10 to 12 let's hurry up let's just write the scriptures media copy them down and then you give it to us nahum chapter 3 verse 4 ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17 to 23 proverbs 1 11 and then psalms 10 verse 8 there are many more but we'll just stop here give us deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12 let's hurry up everyone read want to read there shall be not found among you anyone that make his son or his daughter to do what pass through fire or that uses divination or an observer of times an enchanter or a witch next verse or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer next verse for all that do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out before thee. God himself identifies that there is a dark side to our world. There are enchanters. There are stargazers. There are men that manipulate the constellation against the destinies of men. The church has been so ignorant or we have exaggerated the reality and the existence of Satan. Nahum chapter 3 verse 4. Just look up so that um, since it's projected. One to read. Because of the multitude of the wardoms of the well-favored harlot, the what? Mistress of witchcraft. That sell what? Look at what she sells. She can she look at her goods the way you sell pure water, the mistress of witchcraft, and say, You can come and meet me, and I will give you Africa. I can give you this village, I can sell that soul to you. It's in your Bible. It says she sells what nations through her wardom, her fraternity with human beings. That means human agents come to meet her. I want access to a territory. And what does she sell again? families is that in your bible is that in your bible that there are witchcraft activities that sell families let's look at two scriptures quickly ezekiel 13 17 to 23 is a long reading let's rush are you still with me all right let's hurry up to 23 likewise son of man set thy face against the daughters of thy people which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them lord god woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes and make what handkerchiefs what version is this okay it's okay upon the head of every stature hey let me show you what the bible is saying where's my handkerchief they sow pillows and they carry handkerchiefs and drop it on the head of statues to do what to do what to hunt souls as a way of invoking the spirits of men they take on a handkerchief put it on a statue and call your name it's in your bible they have not taught you because many preachers have lied to you that is a nice world for as long as you just say god i'm here and i love you everything is all right welcome to planet earth that has strangers that are here before our arrival. They hunt souls. He said, will ye hunt the souls of my people? They are hunting. They are everywhere. Let me tell you. Especially for Africa. Please don't pretend like you are coming from the Caribbeans. You were born an African. You belong to an African family. And you must be ready to confront our children by the grace of God will not need to go through this. But for now, we must pay that price. Are you there? 
will ye save the souls alive that come unto you next verse let's look at it quickly and will ye people oh and will ye what me among the people for handful of barley and for pieces of bread to slay what read that part to slay the souls that should not die to slay souls that should not die and to do what to save the souls that are alive the mystery of spiritual exchange that a man will see that his time is here because the wicked shall be cut short and he will say in my place I invoke this and I donate this person die in my stead it was an ancient practice that king used when they were about to kill them they killed their children and an indignation rose and the war ended it's still being practiced today men who give others for their lives I prophesy to you any man that invokes your name on any altar as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives they will carry their dead body from that altar I say it again in the name of the Lord Jesus that any charm any altar that invokes your name to die the death of another may my God visit them with judgment next next verse lord god behold i am against your pillows wherewith ye were there to hunt the souls to make them fly watch this look at the mystery of witchcraft and i will tear them from your arms and will let the souls go even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly when verse what now two verses left your handkerchiefs I will also tear your instruments of divination those those mediums that you use in covens that you flip and call the names of people and somebody's walking peacefully on the street all of a sudden somebody comes with a knife and kills him and they say he just died no sir he did not just die an invocation happening in the realm of the spirit And deliver my people out of your hand and they shall be no more in your hand to be haunted say amen. amen and they shall know that I am the Lord your God let's read 22 because I can't read all those ones whom I have not made sad listen and strengthen the hands of the wicked that you should not return from his wicked ways by promising him life look at this guys the summary is that this is a transaction of life and death happening in the underworld whereas there are human beings moving you are minding your business they are discussing business with your life i prophesy to you again oh lord god of israel i speak that anyone under the sound of my voice that is being manipulated by stargazers that is being manipulated by necromancers they who manipulate the constellations i declare in the name of jesus christ may those ovens catch fire may those governs tonight catch fire may those governs catch fire Proverbs 1 verse 11. Proverbs 1 verse 11. Shabarato Totobaya. Watch this. If they say, come with us, let us lie and wait for what? Let us do what? Let us wait for blood. Let us lock privately for the innocent without cause. Meaning they did not do anything, but we desire their blood. So we are waiting let's wait for the day that they want to take a step let's wait for when the woman takes in and then we will visit ah. the whole world lieth in wickedness if you are yet to be aware be aware this night write the following scriptures down we may not have time to read them but this is the lot of the wicked this is what god will do with wicked people okay let's look at one of them micah chapter 5 verse 12 but one other scripture you will write this is the lot of witchcraft psalms 109 verse 17 to 18. just write that we won't read it let's read micah chapter 5 verse 12. when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture i was amazed one to read and shout amen after you read it 
One to read. He said, I will cut off witchcraft. I will cut it off. Because if I don't cut it off, they will cut short your life. So I will cut it off. Is God helping us? Verse, I mean number seven, quickly. There are eight points I'm giving you. Seven. Activating the ministry of angels. The seventh key to long life. Activating the ministry of angels. Hebrews 1.14 activating the ministry of angels angels are real they are real i have seen them i see them all the time angels are very very real are they not all ministering spirits meaning you cannot see them in the physical except god opens your eyes or he gives them a, a material body to appear before you sent forth to do what to minister to those who shall be the heirs of salvation are you an heir of salvation are you a partaker of salvation there are angels allocated to you but they never act until you activate their ministry they never act until you activate their ministry until you activate their ministry and you activate their ministry in the place of prayer you activate their ministry through words you release angels you release angels you activate their ministry angels are real and they help believers we we'll look at a few scriptures they protect they preserve and they contend with wicked spirits part of the assignment of angels with respect to spiritual warfare and preservation of the saints because God knows that alone we cannot make it. There is an advantage that wicked spirits have. They have advantage of the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom. And so he gave us angels. Joshua chapter 5 verse 13 to 14. Don't turn there. Just write it. Joshua 5 verse 13 to 14. Joshua has an, an encounter with an angel. Project for us. Project for us 2 Kings 19 verse 35. 2 Kings 19 verse 35. While she's doing that, in the book of Daniel chapter 10, when you read from verse 13, the Bible says that Archangel Michael contended with the prince of Persia. He was trying to stop him from coming down to destroy Daniel. But Daniel was activating the ministry of that angel in the place of prayer. When we pray, we activate angels when we speak we activate angels second kings you can see the angels standing to fight warfare for men read and it came to pass that night that the angel of the lord went out and smote in the camp of the assyrians a hundred four score and five thousand and when they rose up early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses one angel imagine how powerful they are about 185,000 people killed by one angel in one night when you activate them Jude chapter 1 verse 9 the Bible tells us that when Satan came to carry the body of Moses Satan wanted to come and carry the body of Moses and Michael the archangel again he came to contend with Satan so angels fight to preserve our bodies they fight to preserve our lives preserve our bodies preserve our destinies Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 read verse 11 want to read for he shall give what his angels charge over thee hallelujah to keep thee in all thy ways verse 12 and they shall bear thee up on their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone hallelujah the key to activating them is found in psalms 103 verse 20. psalm 103 verse 20 please begin to prepare the oil 
there's, there's an anointing service that will happen here shortly. Very quickly, quickly, bring the oil for me, please. Don't open it yet, just bring it. These are the instructions that the Lord gave me. Psalms 103, verse 20. Go ahead and read. One to read. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do what his commandment. How do they walk? Hearkening. They walk at the instance of his word. They walk at the instance of his word. As you pray and declare the word, you activate them. You activate them. You activate them. As you speak God's word, the moment they hearken to the word, they start walking. Until a word is spoken, the angels are not activated. The moment they hearken to the word, they start moving. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. That's what will happen to somebody tonight. When the Spirit takes over your soul. When the Spirit takes over your soul. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul tonight God will take away that garment of shame he will take it away he will remove it and give you a new garment that when you step out everyone will know that you met the Lord I want you to believe I'm not just motivating you his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that garment of reproach over your life it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul and his mother called him jabez she said because i bore him in sorrow jabez did not name himself he was a victim of his mother's prophecy his mother's pain made her to call him jabez jabez a name that brought sorrow and jabez grew up everywhere he went he saw sorrow what did this man do who sinned was it him or his parents jabez mother cursed him he said you cause me sorrow as a result you will live in sorrow but the day came Jabez said no come on God there must be a way of negotiating this he said oh that thou wouldest bless me remedy this cause over my life oh that thou wouldest bless me I can't live like this Lord you are a just God you must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not I cannot be suffering because my father was a king I can't be suffering because we worship idols I was not there come on now the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child Lord we must negotiate this night there is a way I'm going to hold on to you there must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed 
His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Listen, hear me, friends. If you can hold on to the hand of God tonight, you will leave this place with something. But if you come here casually, you will keep clapping for people who came here desperately. There are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days. And they said, Lord, I'm holding on to you. Jabez's mother called him Jabez. And Jabez said, Oh God, thou, would you not bless me? Enlarge my coast. And the Bible said, God answered him. Hallelujah. The thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been i've not been giving i've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around and i know that i gave satan legal access but tonight oh god i'm negotiating with you i come what do you think going to the throne of grace is it's not just to go and stand there you go and talk and say lord it is written it is written although it is true that the soul that sins die it is written also that is not your desire that any wicked perish it is written you take the word of god the legal system of heaven it said produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Hiya. arise shine my light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me we will arise arise shine our light is come The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. And I got angry. I said, Lord, if there is nobody to speak in my family, I can't speak. What is happening? My younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination. My elder sister for years would not get admission. Things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order come on now i prophesy let there be order listen if there is nobody to speak in your family the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says i provoke another voice i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i come with the rod of a higher priesthood hallelujah 
please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit is strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to working in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called awe of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mes melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you 
there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back, back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. So tonight. I want you to believe Jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 come on just pray in tongues for one minute something just entered my spirit as my father has sent me with the same equipping with the same equipping john 20 john 20 John 20. Ah! Goodness. John 20. Are you there? Then said Jesus to them, listen, peace be to you as my father has sent me. He said, even so send I you. So he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him. That means he equipped me. The father did something to me. And I'm about to do the same thing to you. And it will make you do the works that he did. Watch this. 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. He said, this is the secret. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. I transfer the ministry of the Holy Spirit from me to you. Let him walk with you. And you will do wonders. You will suddenly become a priest. You will suddenly become a king. The same way I set men free. He will empower you. And you will set men free. The same way I spoke. And it came to pass. Now the same way the Holy Ghost walked with me. This was my secret. Receive ye. Receive. That means you can reject him. He said receive. Don't reject him. Receive. When he comes to you. Receive. His presence makes you become like Jesus. It's not about praying in tongues is more than praying in tongues you receive him you can reject him jesus said when he comes receive receive don't reject many people have been rejecting him you are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well 
and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord has showed me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one 9 verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 Oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain 
and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called sadiq ibrahim i never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post election violence and he came was dying of hiv right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony it was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail 
There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, change our situation tonight. There are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now. The problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much. Are you getting me? There are some of you, it's like I see you in the hospital. Your situation right now is a matter of life and death. Your own is just, it's not just admission. Maybe there is a terminal disease. I remember a particular lady I was talking to. I think she might be somewhere here. A herbalist predicted her death today today this 25th the harbor is predicted that is today that she would die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here <laughs> there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking somebody tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I, I am, am that I am. I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh, oh. For him to do, I am that I am. 
Is there anything too hard for him to do? I am that I am. Lift your hands, everybody, and let us worship him. Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God. Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three 
there will be such a move of the spirit in this room let me have the people outside thank you jesus one two three let the power of god move right now right now is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called. presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship. 
Take my prayer, oh God. Take my prayer. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits please follow me instrumentalist we are going to cause every power the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that tree must give way and i come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose i am and whom i serve that at the count of three any power that is not of god inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils by the fire of the holy ghost as you shout three the power of god will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now one two three shout jesus shake up a pack of secretary i cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness i cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft by the fire of the holy ghost you come under the judgment of god inside and outside right now let the power of god bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Those outside, just those outside, goodness. I see a number of angels. You're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you jesus are you ready now those outside i see the power of god like files of fire one two at the count of three shout jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God those outside be sensitive there is so much power I don't know what it is but the, the power of God is so strong outside in the name of our God hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus name of our God Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. I set you free now out of her now that devil of darkness blessed is he who comes in the name of God. hallelujah please help
help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just fine. It's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her, she will come. Now, quickly. I call you Lord most high. Don't touch her, she will come by herself. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free. In the name of Jesus, it's over. Let her go now. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. You died for her. Let her go. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you all the praise. She's delivered completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to her. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I curse you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. 
while you hold them look guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel please just save time when I mention your case Gabriel Gabriel is outside outside the Lord is ministering to me outside Gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside You are Gabriel, you are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. Just leads to her heart region. And it's just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar you'll be free hallelujah there's no time to minister to your individual needs are you following me now if god gives me a word for you i'll just pray otherwise ah okay. come 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 you must be set free now hold my hands out come out of her now out now blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um, the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please, those with peptic ulcers, just get ready. All kinds of ulcers. We're going to pray for you now. Please make sure it's, it's only skin infection. Only skin infection. Hold my hands, madam. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Be free now. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. As I pray for you, just go back to your seat. Oh, the power of God is strong on my hands. Be free now in the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you, I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. Visit your people, oh God. These are the ones that you died for. Look how many people are inflicted by ulcers. I'll pray for you very quickly. Please, I want you to believe as I lay my hands on, on you. The power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out. Come out of her. Now, in the name of Jesus. Out. Out of her. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. The name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God he's able. able. God is able. God. Command that spirit of infirmity. Leave her right now. Never to return. Be free now. In Jesus' name. Complete freedom.
showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's the situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what? Just straight to the point. What happened? My body is very hot, and the, the head is turning me like move. I want to fall. This is the spirit of death. Now you would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What, what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabi, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at This is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg, I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually play football. You're a footballer? I had a fracture for eight months you have a fracture now on the leg there is a fracture is it true please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here look at me watch yourself get healed now come don't close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young gicho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother Look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guys even rejoicing. 
this is somebody with a fracture fracture on his leg come on give jesus praise for an onion see there's no there's no pain try doing like this do like this that's how you know whether there was pain or not look at look at look at what you do come on give jesus praise hallelujah god bless you it never returns your leg come 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 don't worry what's the situation pain there let me see just just the no 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 you don't need to lift your just that point the joint there how long since two weeks now two weeks what happened just like that you woke up and the pain refused to go thank you jesus christ which one do you want you want to lay hands on yourself or i should just pray <laughs> huh? all right but seriously let's pray hold my hands heal her lord set her free right now the power of god is coming upon you that leg in the name of jesus christ no pain see that's the power of god coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any no pain is she's even surprised no pain is give jesus praise that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please i'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the lord show, once god shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ please make sure you only come out for the cases i call why is he out eh? okay let me pray for you father for the mother we agree right now let there be freedom in the name of jesus look at this look at the miracle your teeth is closed now come come please we need a witness we need a witness is it true don't tell lies here you're in the presence of god where is it sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we're acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness 
be healed right now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost I command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes I rebuke you right now I command be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself God is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the Lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can I have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who and is preparing to go to india for is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation oh doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Ogasa, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's a, you stethoscope you can hear it so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection. In the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke. As I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some. Okay, you're that too of stroke. Because immediately I had I held your hand. I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah now i'm going to pray for you please follow me guys Hallelujah. most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody you'll be amazed at what will happen right now everyone please lift your hands you can stand for yourself you can connect hallelujah at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus father i pray that as they shout that name every every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Go, 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 shut up. 
I curse those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus out of them now by the power of the Holy Ghost inside and outside. I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake Rekete Prokotoba Man We are still going to shout that name over this case. The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One. Two. Get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I command chains. Chains. Marital chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. In the name of Jesus, be broken. Let marital doors open. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your marital destiny. In the name that is above all names, the Bible says, Seek out of the book and read. It said, None of this shall fail, none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus and i prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that god has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now i'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, 
hallelujah worship team lead us in a powerful moment of worship hallelujah lord we give you the praise thank you for healing in the name of jesus those of you who are sitting please write your prayer requests once you are done just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly my god is awesome in the name of jesus christ Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Strange in the name of Jesus My God is he awesome. He can move. In the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. He is awesome. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. He is awesome. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. He is awesome. He heal now. Take it, Baba, Baba, Baba. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus.
I want you to just believe. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed now. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. I am that I am. Can you be healed in the name of Jesus Christ? Too hard for me to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am that I am. I am that I am. Is she now? Say, is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. I am that I am. Oh, is there anything too hard for me to do? In the name of Jesus. That spirit hey, in the name of Jesus. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me? Please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. 
I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray. May my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus. And every power that is stopping your job, in the name that is above all names, the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, against Israel, I command right now, let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand, submit your prayer request. Do we have it? This is a very prophetic moment. We have a few minutes, but this is where everybody gets to receive. Please. I want you to be very very sensitive if you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a God that answers prayers here. Suta tata bala da 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 ba. Zegete brege de bala de bos. Zige de brege de brege de bala da 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 ba. Shada kada bala da ba. Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it, and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. hallelujah these requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of God can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this 
and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah Zekata baba baba kata praga de baladarash. Zekate prondo koso praga de baladarash. Sete pro shapara da baladarara. Zekate baladarabos. Everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say, Lord, whatever I wrote here is turned into a testimony. Zekate ta 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 pakata. Rapaka pro so so pretecate. Sidebo shopro dos coprendecate. Secata tata balada. Shopro toco to pregade balada bos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Secata tata 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 tata. Rekete bokoto preke de balada bos, pata kapa pakate, e preke te leke te, sote ke te pros, e preke te leke te te te, reke te reke se, e pros ko proto subah, leke te balada bakata preke de balada bos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because we got nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out sit up I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but we are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came Lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from Abuja thank you Pastor Alpha all the way from Kogi State Eddie from Joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. In the name of Jesus, you do glorious things. Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious 
Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. 
receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus receive it I pray I command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams I command in the name of Jesus receive it an unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions sopotopate I command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands hold your hand take it now take it now rapapashata ka i activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the Holy Ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom now i want to prophesy 
very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 I pray right now every opportunity you have lost I don't care what it is I prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my god has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here i pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry 
everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus hallelujah lord we give you the praise i'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the lord jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made jesus lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a christian but you've never truly declared the lordship of christ i'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you're making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and god gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming god bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you jesus hallelujah i salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem i want you to say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood to set me free i receive that freedom tonight and i receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of jesus from today i declare that i'm born again i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me i make up my mind to live for jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put a uh, program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday 
as God grants you the grace, you will always be a blessing having you around. Praise the Lord. We have a blessing in the house. And this is the gift we release to everyone who comes. And I want the saints of God to stretch their hands and just bless you. I want you to receive it. Please bless them. Professor, you have a blessing upon your lips. I want you to speak it. We bless you. Let the hand of God be strong upon your life. In the name of Jesus, we bless you with hunger for the things of the Spirit. We bless you with passion for God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you with advancement. We bless you with favor. We bless you with speed. In the name of Jesus, may you experience the power of God strong in your life. We bless your finances. Let the heavens be open over your life. In the name of Jesus, thank you again for coming. We love you and we celebrate you. Now, we'd just like you to follow the ushers, that gentleman waving his hands, and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf. Koinonia, celebrate them very Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.